The kitchen is the room that we live in most and the room we love to update the most. The summer 2015 issue of Sukasa magazine features seven spectacular kitchens ranging in style from superior contemporary to farmhouse modern to over the top Santa Fe. Joining us now is publisher of Sukasa magazine with a sneak preview of the new issue, Bruce Adams. Bruce, always a pleasure to see you. Nice to see you too, Chad. All right, so this is a this is an amazing outdoor patio setup that we got. Let's talk about this cover. Well, this home is in the Northeast Heights. Okay. We wanted, we selected this cover because of the way it integrated both outdoor and indoor living spaces. Mm -hmm. and you can see the outdoors just empty right into the indoors and vice versa. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, this was a house that had a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, the builders and the, and the homeowners went through a lot, had a lot of issues, but they worked through it and they created a stunning home in the end. And there yeah, are lots really of pictures did. in this issue of this house. Okay, so in addition to this house, let's talk about some of the other homes featured. Yeah, we've got one home that's in the Southeast uh, Valley. It's part of a vineyard, actually, okay. and it incorporates kind of the, the barn-like architecture on the inside, but on the outside, excuse me, but on the inside, it's very, very contemporary. So it's a very interesting home. Wow. Uh, another home in the Northeast Heights is um, on a very small lot, yet they've done so much and put in so much great living spaces in a fairly tight space. Really? Okay. So it seems like there's a lot of perpendicularity going on, you know, having a farmhouse interior to a contemporary, or a farmhouse exterior to a contemporary interior. Is that kind of a trend right now? Are a lot of people doing that? Well, everybody wants the home the way they want them, mm -hmm. you know? So everybody's got different tastes. As you'll see in all of these homes, the homes are very personal to the homeowner. Okay. So every, just like you and I, we're all different, sure. you know? And what's important to me may not be important to you. And that's how homeowners are. So they select the things that are really touch their heart and the way they live their lives. Right, well, one of the most important rooms, of course, as we said at the top, the kitchen. So let's talk about what you have for the kitchen in this issue. Well, first of all, I want to say this is the perfect time of the year to redo a kitchen. Okay. Because you can go outside and barbecue. You can move Good your point. you can move your Good lifestyle point. outside. So this is the perfect time to, to do a kitchen. The thing about kitchens in this issue we talk about first of all the sink, the kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. You know, our grandmother's kitchen sink has come a long way, <laughs> and you'll see a lot of different, very interesting designs in kitchen sinks. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I think is interesting is integrating artwork into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. we th we, when you think about the kitchen being the centerpiece of our lifestyle, mm -hmm. and yet we have our artwork in the hallway or in the living sure. room. So we talk about integrating artwork into the kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense too, because oftentimes you are being creative, especially if you have a you know a, a chef in the home that loves to cook. You get that inspiration, you know, be it sub, you know subconscious or very consciously having something to inspire you. That makes perfect sense. I keep thinking about family pictures. What do we do in our yeah. kitchen? It's all about family. Yeah, well, that would be the perfect place to me to have the family pictures. Absolutely, it's a yeah. great idea. Well, of course, you know we started with outdoor living, so let's talk a little bit about more of what you have. Obviously, the summertime, people staying outdoors. What do we have for our outdoor spaces? Well. We give you lots of ideas, not just in how to design an outdoor living space, but things to do outside. Mm -hmm. Chad, when you were a kid, did you ever play croquet? Oh, yeah. yeah so, I wasn't good at it, right. but I liked hitting the balls, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great family outing that can be done in your backyard, mm -hmm. integrating your lifestyle into your backyard and for all ages. Mm -hmm. So we have a little story about croquet. Okay. Um, but really, we talk about ideas about how people integrate indoor and outdoor space. Mm -hmm. I tell you, a very inexpensive way to do it that I've done in my own home is the cushions that go on your outdoor furniture. Mm -hmm. Those are very inexpensive and can pick up, you can change them out and pick up colors right. from the inside to bring outside or to bring up flowers, colors of the flowers in your backyard. Oh, that's a great idea. So to get all these ideas and inspiration, this is now on newsstands. Where can we pick up a copy? You can pick up a cup, copy at Barnes & Noble, mm -hmm. uh, Whole Foods has them. And it's also completely free online at sukasamagazine.com. Sukasamagazine.com. Bruce, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chad. Again, for more information on how to update your living space with Sukasa Magazine, head over to casa.com.